Hi guys, it's Lynn with Little Fit Nursery. I'm here with reborn baby Clara. She's the Levi Sculpt by Bonnie Brown and her artist is Melissa George. Um, and I wanted to change her into this really cute um, kind of Disney bunny outfit. It has Miss Bunny here. And it's actually kind of similar to the one she's wearing right now. This one has Winnie the Pooh, but, um, but I wanted to do this one because um, as I'm filming this, and I know you guys will end up watching this a little bit later, um, it is actually Easter. And so happy belated Easter to all of you guys. I wanted to change her and, um, and just chat, um, a little bit about, um, yeah, I don't know, just, just life. And, you know, I was thinking a lot about this hobby recently and, um, I'm just thinking about how, you know, every so often just I do worry about the fact that, you know, just being on YouTube and now that I work for like a bigger company, maybe a coworker or somebody discovering <laughs> my channel, um, I'm not a huge, I'm not a really big channel, um, at the moment. So there's probably a little danger of that, but you know, but I guess never say never, right? Sometimes channels grow and you just never know. But, um, but I guess the question kind of crossed my mind, like what would I do if somebody found out about the hobby that I didn't want to know about the hobby? And you know, what would I do <laughs> in that situation? I don't know if you guys have thought about this and maybe you guys, maybe a lot of you guys who collect are just, I know quite a few of you are just not embarrassed at all about this hobby. And, um, and I don't know, like I just wonder, sometimes I do wonder like why, why am I embarrassed or why do I feel like, I don't want people to know about it. Um, I think a big reason for me is just the way these dolls and this hobby is portrayed in the media. Um, and it's like oftentimes not portrayed very positively. I feel like reborn collectors are not really put in a great light. Oh, look how cute she looks. So adorable. This is, a, this is so cute. Oh, look at Clara. Hi, Clara. Um, Oh, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that the media likes to portray, uh, reborn collectors as a little bit, a little bit off their rocker, like people be truly believing that these dolls are real. I don't know if you guys have watched the, um, on Apple, T on Apple TV, there is a, um, series called the Ser servant. I watched a few episodes, but it's a little bit too kind of creepy, scary for me. So I kind of stopped after a while, but the premise is there is, and I won't swell anything, but like basically the, one of the main characters is this woman who um, is grieving the loss of a child that passed away and she got a reborn doll and then, or, and truly believes that this doll is that child. Like she doesn't have a sense of reality that the doll is not real. And so, um, Anyway, so that's kind of a big premise on the show. I don't really actually know what happens, um, but you know, just to kind of like add to the creepiness factor of this hobby, I don't think the mini the media portraying this hobby in that light is very helpful. Um, and then some of the other documentaries they've done, like My Fake Baby and other ones, um, there's some other ones that were like not as bad, but there are definitely a few documentaries that make the collectors look like they're crazy, and so. I just don't want to be lumped into that category, I guess. And, and I truly have had, had never had any notion. I think most of you guys, um, are in this same boat too. Like we don't believe that these dolls are real, but we admire them for what they are like beautiful works of art. And, um, just, and sometimes it's just fun to play pretend and to dress them up and people like to take them out and things like that. And those who don't have kids or, or, um, you know, th these dolls can be very therapeutic for filling in, helping to fill the void a, a little bit. Um, I, I know they were helpful to me kind of in that period of time before I had, had my kids and I was wanting a kid, wanting a baby. And, um, it was, it was nice to have one of these dolls to cuddle during that, you know, stage of my life. So, but yeah, I feel like <laughs> the media, um, kind of makes us look crazy. And so, you know, to admit that I collect these dolls. I mean, when you really look at the hobby for what it is, it's a pretty incredible hobby. The fact that, you know, an artist would sculpt 
sculpt this out of clay, sculpt the mold out of clay, and then, you know, and then produce these blank vinyl kits and that these artists would actually paint these kits and make these babies that look so realistic. It's really, really incredible. So I think that anybody, like you don't have to like dolls. You could think that they're creepy and things like that, but you've got to at least, you know, take your hat off for the artistry and the sheer skill that's required to achieve this, you know? So, um, yeah, and some people will think it's creepy because it's the uncanny valley, right? Like it looks like too real, so it just makes people uncomfortable. But um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like I I still I still I don't think I'll ever stop liking these dolls. I may not be like just totally obsessed with it and buying a new baby, you know, every other week like I was when I first started the hobby. Thank goodness, because I think my wallet appreciates um the fact that I can save a little bit of money by not constantly buying new dolls. But, um, but yeah, these, these babies are truly remarkable and it's a, but it's a hobby that's just never going to be mainstream. I think we've talked about this before, like, you know, Hey, could this be mainstream? Wouldn't it be so cool if it would be just accepted by society for us to carry these babies around in public and, and things like that? I, I just think that people would always find it to be odd. Like, you know, if we're, um, just being honest with ourselves. And so, so yeah, I do feel like you know, if a coworker were to find out or some, or a client, heaven forbid, you know, were to find my channel or something like that. Um, and it's, there's certainly a chance that that could happen. I would just say, you know, I've always been a doll collector my entire life. And, um, and these to me are the ultimate doll. I mean, they're so incredible, so realistic, just the artistry that goes into them and, and they are fun and they are therapeutic to hold just the weight of it, you know? So, um, but no, I don't play with them all day. You know, I really only handle them when I'm making my videos, but I like knowing that they're there. I like to look at them. I like to pick one up occasionally and hold it. Um, it's fun to buy baby clothes and accessories for them. It's just part of the fun of like the realism, you know? So, um, and it's fun to paint them too. Like I, um, I actually, you know, like decided to learn how to paint these dolls because I just wanted to be able to appreciate the hobby from like a whole nother angle. So, so yeah, I think there's just a lot of, um, there's a lot of benefit and, um, and there's nothing like weird about it at all. Like I have plenty, I have a lot of other hobbies and interests as well. It's not just about these dolls. I, I'm super into fashion. I love Disney. Um, I'm lately have been, just really been enjoying Lego, you know, ever since the pandemic. And, um, I have a lot of other things that I just enjoy and, um, and this is just one of several hobbies that I really, really like. So, um, and that's all it is. It's just a hobby. And yes, I mean, do some people take it to the extreme and, you know, kind of, but you know, yes, but I would say that's not the majority of the collectors. And you know what, like if somebody wants to take the, take the dolls with them everywhere and, um, and kind of pretend that they're real and, celebrate their birthdays and do all this stuff like go for it like I think that's awesome like I more power to whatever makes you happy I think is at the end of the day what you need to do and to stay true to yourself so um and and I, I would also say like I'm also at a point in my career where I am you know pretty senior in my profession and so I don't know I mean it's a little bit like the whole um anti-Asian hate all the hate crimes and stuff like that like one of the things that was really discouraging to me was just thinking about like, Hey, are there opportunities at work that I'm not getting or clients that aren't hiring me because I'm Asian? You know what, if, if there are, then, you know, I don't want those opportunities or I don't want to work with that particular client. You know, I just don't, um, life is too short to, um, to deal with that. And I've, um, I've been very blessed and fortunate to, to have a good job and a good career and, um, you know, and to be like, and, and this hobby is not cheap, as we all know, um, to be able to even afford these babies is a huge blessing. And like, you know, I don't take that for granted. And so I, I kind of have to just think like, hey, you know, it's part of who I am, just like my ethnicity is. And, um, and if somebody besides they don't want to be my friend or don't want to work with me because of this hobby, then, you know, that's fine. You know, you can't, you can't please everyone. And I'm just trying to come to peace with that. And not everyone's going to like you. Not everyone 
is going to accept you for who you are. And so you got to find those people who do. And if you have a spouse or a family member or a friend who's just not supportive of the hobby, then you know what? Like when you're around them, just don't talk about the hobby. Like I, my sisters <laughs> and my mom, like no one in my family is into, into is into dolls, like at all. Okay. Um, so I don't talk about my dolls with them. I don't like I, that's what I have this community for. Like, this is what I have you guys for on YouTube and my friends on Facebook and through doll fan. Like I don't need to talk about my dolls and my hobby with, um, people outside of this community. It's, it's just not necessary. Um, but yeah, do I, I enjoy, I enjoy it, you know, and I enjoy it to the extent that I want to enjoy it at that given time. I went through like a couple year period where I was pretty obsessive about it. I was like constantly reading about dolls, constantly looking at eBay and shopping and like, and maybe that got to an unhealthy extreme at one point, but, but it's just, it's just been my, the story of my life, my whole life. I go through these phases where I'm just totally obsessed about things and then I, um, and then it kind of dies down and I sort of move on to like my next obsession. So that's just been me my whole life. Um, so yeah, I mean, so right now I'm kind of like not as into my dolls, but I mean, I'm thankful to have YouTube because it does put me in the discipline of interacting with them, making these videos, coming on and saying hi to you guys. Otherwise I could probably go weeks without even looking at them quite, quite, quite frankly. So um, anyway, guys, I hope this was, I hope this was, a, you enjoyed this video. Um, leave me a comment below and let me know, are you embarrassed about the hobby or do you worry about people finding out like what's, um, what are your thoughts on that topic? And thank you so much for um, watching. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.